Hi friends, Nathan Middle Down Under here. Uh, time for a bit of an update. I've uh, got a handful of CDs and a handful of vinyl to show. Uh, just so I jump on and uh, get them showing uh, so I can uh, file them away uh, for a future date uh, to listen to them all over again. Uh, but I'll start off, I always forget to show what's playing in the background. Uh, but today, we'll listen to a bit of Dirty Youth, uh, Gold Dust uh, from 2014. Uh, this band hails from the land of uh, John Rock and Metal Plus, uh, Wales. Um, I only ever had two albums out. I'm not even sure if they're still putting music out, uh, but absolutely fantastic band uh, and actually features my favorite song of 2014 on this album, uh, the song Alive. Uh, fantastic song. Track, uh, there's a video on YouTube for that if you want to go and check it out. But yep, The Dirty Youth and Gold Dust. Fantastic album. I own the first one on vinyl too. Um, but yeah, hope you're doing well out there. Uh, I'm gonna crack on. Uh, first two CDs I'm gonna show are both from the same band. Now I've had their debut album on vinyl for the longest time. I'll just quickly see if I can find it. Uh, should be somewhere. Oh, sorry, I can't find it, it's okay. Um, but it is the band Hysterica. Now this is the uh, second album, The Art of Metal. Been on the hunt for this for the longest time. Uh, came out in, I'm gonna say 2012. It's an all female band out of uh, Stockholm in uh, Sweden. So this is their second album. Uh, I was lucky, lucky enough to uh, meet the band uh, when they were promoting their debut album. Um, but yeah, this album is just as good. Uh, tracks on here, um, Breaking the Walls, um, Daughters of the Night, uh, the song Heels, uh, yeah, really good album. The song Force is fantastic, uh, but yeah, just straightforward uh, heavy metal, uh, more modern sounding metal, uh, but fantastic. Absolutely love this band. Uh, and yeah, as I said, I was very fortunate enough uh, to meet them. Uh, there they are on the back there. Um, they actually haven't put any music out for quite a few years now, uh, but well, I was happy to see recently that they're actually out performing some shows. Uh, which is really cool, so hoping for a new album down the line. Um, but yep, yeah, some lyrics and band shots. Yep, yeah, absolutely fantastic vocalist. Um, yeah, really, really good stuff. I'm so happy to find that. I uh, found it here in New Zealand, which is fantastic, uh, second hand. Um, but yeah, very, very good copy and uh, very, very happy to finally have it. And then all I was missing was the EP, uh, which came out after this one. Um, 2015, this came out. It's the last thing they've ever released. Uh, I was lucky enough to find this in Germany um, last month. Uh, but that is uh, Hysterica, All In. It is a one, two, three, four, five track EP. Um, the song they put out off this one was uh, Lock, Lock Up Your Son. I said there's a video clip on YouTube for that if you want to check them out. Um, yep, yeah, a really, really good band from Sweden. Um, bit of a shame it came out in one of these little digi packs, but I think I paid I think maybe five uh, euro for it. So it's about eight New Zealand dollars, which I thought was an absolute steal, um, considering I couldn't, if I bought it from over here, uh, it cost me a lot of money in shipping. Um, but yeah, really, really gritty, uh, heavy metal. Fantastic stuff from these ladies. So yep, very happy to finish the catalog from Hysterica. Um, their, sec their first album was released on CD and vinyl. I had the vinyl. This one was never released on vinyl uh, for some reason. Not sure why. Uh, <coughs> this has been, um, but pretty expensive for a five track EP on vinyl. So found the CD, I'm very, very happy with that. Next one, a band out of France. Uh, this is the third album I have from them. They've been around since uh, the 80s. Um, a lot of band lineup changes over the years, particularly over the last three albums. They've gone through three different female vocalists. Um, but I'm talking about the band Nightmare out of France, a brand new album, 2024, uh, called Encrypted um, on AFM. Really, really good stuff, but I will say it doesn't compare uh, to the last two albums with the previous singers. Um, I do find, although the music is amazing, 
Um, the vocals are a little bit lost uh, in uh, the mix. I just think that the, uh, the vocals need to be turned up a little bit. Um, but other than that, really, really uh, happy to own this one. Um, 10 track album, <coughs> said band out of France, been going around since the 80s. The last three or four albums have actually had a female, female vocalist. Uh, before that, I'm not really sure um, because I yeah, haven't really invested in them uh, that much from the earlier stuff. But I just wish they would uh, stick uh, with one uh, lineup. That would be fantastic. Uh, last vocalist was really, really good. So was, can't remember her name, but uh, Maggie Luton, Lighton, uh, was the singer before her and amazing job on that album. But yep, still very, very happy to have the latest nightmare encrypted on AFM. Next one, um, I own both their other albums. I've had them for quite a few years, but I just never picked up the most recent album. I think this one came out in 2022, if I remember correctly, uh, but also found this one in Germany uh, and had to grab it. And that is the brand new, or not brand new, but the most recent um, Evil Drive. In actual fact, it came out in 2021 on uh, Reaper Entertainment. Reaper Entertainment's been putting out some really good music over the last few years. Uh, this calls, is called Demons Within. Now, they are a um, melodic um, death metal band out of Sweden. Really, really uh, dig this band. Uh, female fronted. Uh, she's got a really gravelly, uh, gritty, uh, heavy, thrashy voice. It's actually quite thrashy in places. So it's a uh, thrashy, melodic death metal, I'd say. I'd like to call it. Um, I don't find the sound quite as good as the, the, the previous one to this, uh, but yeah, really, really good. I just hope they're going to bring out some uh, more music, but it is uh, the band there. Uh, but yeah, very, very happy now I've finished uh, their discography. It was only three albums, um, but yeah, Demons Within is the name of it, and 2021. It's Reaper Entertainment and uh, Universal. Um, so yeah, another one I picked up from Germany. And this, this is a, a brand new album. 2024 release uh, from a band I saw while I was over in Germany uh, live, put on a phenomenal show even though Danny, uh, the lead vocalist, uh, had, had a bad back at the time. Um, she didn't really show it, uh, but that is the latest from for about the glare. The warning, uh, three female uh, sisters uh, putting out some really good uh, rock and roll um, I'm missing their previous album to this, um, but I have their debut, which is ab absolutely phenomenal. Um, but they're quite hard to get over here in New Zealand, um, as you have to pay a, a little uh, bit of cash for them. Um, but yeah, really, really happy to, ha to have this. And I said, they put on a phenomenal show at the festival. They're actually the first band I saw uh, on the first day. Um, but yeah, very, very small writing. Uh, in the booklet. I've only actually given this album one full spin. Uh, one full spin. I've heard of a lot of the tracks on uh, YouTube uh, from the videos they put out, but yeah, <coughs> after one spin, uh, I do really, really enjoy uh, the new album. Um, just trying to read the back, but the writing, it's, in, um, it's quite hard to read as the style, um, which yeah, very, very happy to own the new uh, The Warning. Great rock and roll from uh, three young sisters. So that's the CDs uh, out of the way. Now onto a few vinyl. Um, now, they're all brand new releases apart from one. Um, but I'll start with this one first. What I will say that I've been going through my favorite albums of 2024 uh, and the two albums that were my number one and two of the year are uh, not any longer. For the longest time, uh, they were there. Uh, but two of these albums here I'm about to show, I'm not gonna say which ones, because I want it to be a surprise for the end of the year. Uh, at the moment anyway, are my number one and two picks of the year. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna say, but I'll just carry on. Uh, the first band I'm gonna show is the uh, brand new album and second release from the band Nesta. I uh, saw this band live in 2023. I'd never actually heard any of their music previous to that. Uh, I loved it so much that when this album uh, came out, I just 
I actually pre-ordered it. Um, a real throwback to the 80s. The minute I sit down and listen to this, I just, I just want to be back uh, in the 80s. Now, all these songs uh, would fit quite happily on an 80s movie soundtrack, as far as I'm concerned. So album also features my favourite ballad of the year. Um, but the one that got away. Absolutely fantastic song. Uh, actually almost brings a tear to my eye. For some reason it makes me think of my mum, even though it's got nothing to do with that sort of thing. Um, but yeah, as you know, I uh, lost my mum a few years ago and uh, she was my best friend uh, and I still struggle uh, to this day uh, with not having her around to talk to. But yeah, that song sets me off. Um, the one that got away. But the song 21, Daughter, Teenage Rebel, um, Unchain My Heart, Caroline, just an absolutely fantastic album for these guys. Their second album. Um, band started in the 80s, uh, but it wasn't until a few years ago they actually uh, put out uh, their debut album. But this is their second release. Um, I don't own the debut. I do need to get it. Uh, Napalm Records, 2024. Um, they said I saw them live, and they actually sound better live uh, than they do on, uh, on the album. Um, which is normally the other way around. But yeah, that's absolutely phenomenal live. The lead vocalist is just, not a note went out, um, out of key. Just amazing stuff. Um, and yeah, I really, really loved that set. Um, and actually went to look for the debut album at the festival, uh, but either it sold out or they just didn't have it. Uh, and I really, I really I like the album cover. Uh, I have Jason, uh, Friday the 13th, which is my favourite franchise of all time. You also have the original mini series of V, uh, which I loved growing up as a kid. Uh, and yeah, just <laughs> amazing stuff. Very, very happy uh, that I picked this one up. <coughs> just on your standard black wax. I need to buy some more inner, uh, outer sleeves as I've uh, completely run out of them. Uh, next one, the latest album from the one and only Dark Tranquility, uh, End Time Signals. I uh, saw these guys live last year as well. Amazing. Uh, actually saw, well, I saw Dark Tranquility last year, but I also saw the lead vocalist other band, uh, The Halo Effect, uh, as well last year. Uh, both amazing shows, and I've got to say, I can't fault this album bloody brilliant melodic uh, heavy um, dark um, gothic in times at times this is just your amazing gothenburg swedish heavy metal and i absolutely love this album um, i haven't heard a bad review about it uh, looking around uh, just on your black wax not much with the uh, goat fold, a little bit uh, of a waste really, but sort of like goes with the album art. <coughs> uh, we have lyrics and the band. Uh, what's the lead vocalist name? Um, Mikhail Stan. Amazing guy, got to... Uh, Got to meet him in person. Very, very, very friendly. Um, I got to meet him uh, when he was performing with uh, the Halo Effect here in New Zealand. Um, well, they were playing with uh, Beyond the Black and Devil Skin. Fantastic show. Uh, yep, I'm very, very happy to have the new uh, Dark Tranquility. Right. Three albums left, uh, and two of them are by the same band, but I'll show them last. Uh, next one is a brand new band. This is a brand new album, 2024. This band uh, came about during COVID, uh, featuring two members. Uh, well, you know, two members from the band Serenia and another band I can't quite remember. Um, discovered this band when I was in Germany, uh, but I picked the album up while I, when I was when I got back. Uh, and this is uh, thrashy power metal. Uh, think uh, Halloween, 
Hammerfall, but on steroids. And that's what you got here. Uh, Blood Dawn and Let the Fury Rise. The guitar work on this is absolutely phenomenal. Absolute, absolute shred fest. Um, and the vocals, I don't, know, I don't know where the vocalist comes from, but he is damn amazing. He's got those highs. He's also got um, the gravelly, gravelly voice as well. Um, not so much in the low register, uh, but yeah, from medium register, right up to the screaming highs. Uh, and yep, yeah, that's what you get with a Blood Dawn. Amazing bass work, amazing drumming, frantic drumming. Um, came out on Reaper Entertainment also. Uh, yep, 2024. There's about three or clips, three or four clips on YouTube you can check out from these guys. Uh, obviously, you can stream the album as well. Um, but yeah, love the album art. And this came out on a whatever color <laughs> you want to call that. So, like caramelly bronze marble, I suppose you can call it. Um, uh, and inside, we just have lyrics etc and liner notes but this album is absolutely phenomenal if you want um, some fast um, thrashy um, power metal it's quite thrashy at times um, also some quiet moments in it um, but yeah definitely get your yeah head thumping yeah yeah your head moving and your feet stomping as a bit of a blood dawn and uh, let the fury rise. Fantastic stuff. Right, as I said, two left, and they're both from the same band. Um, now I'm going to show the their first album, their most recent album first, and then I'll go back to the other uh, one I've got. Uh, and there's a, a band uh, that was new to me this year, and this is my greatest discovery of uh, 2024 so far. And there's an album by the band Damp also out of Sweden, uh, and I say Blood Dawn, they're an international band. Uh, the members from France, Italy, Greece, and the UK. Uh, but Damp, they were all female, they're all female, they're uh, all Swedish uh, metal band, and it features uh, members from the band E-Type, um, who else, uh, Sabaton, um, and Bathory uh, also features uh, vocals from Olivia Thorne, uh, amazing female vocalist who I just discovered after this album. Um, uh, now, how would I describe them? Uh, folky power metal, um, not like anything else really, but if I could describe them, maybe a little bit, if you like, say Ramstein, a uh, bit of Sabaton, a uh, bit of Auden Ogan, um, who else? Um, yeah, I think, yeah, maybe, yeah, Auden Ogan, um, Sabaton, uh, Ramstein, sort of feel in a way, uh, but there's all styles of here. You have a little bit of the symphonic, not too much. Um, you have some straightforward hard rock. You have some epic uh, power metal uh, choruses. Uh, you have three vocalists on this album. Uh, you have two clean singers, male and female. Uh, There's a male vocalist out of E-Type and Olivia Thorne on vocals, the clean vocals. And then you have a guy who does the, the growls, uh, but he also does the clean vocals uh, and the choruses as well. But yeah, amazing stuff. Um, here's the photo of the band yeah now I'm not sure who was in Bathory uh, or Sabaton or still is I'm not sure uh, but all I know is I love this band uh, and it came signed by all six members on the back which I thought was uh, bloody awesome and then we have the band there. Um, you have Martin Erickson, Atron on vocals, and he is from the band E Type. Uh, you have Olivia Thorne, uh, Behira on vocals. Uh, you have Beck on keys, David Wallen on drums, uh, 
Pontus Igberg on bass, Sam Sodenla on guitar, Love Magidson on guitar, and Bjorn Eckerson uh, doing the growls. Uh, produced by Jonah T. Now, Jonah T, if you don't know, he is uh, also involved with the band uh, Heat uh, and what's the other band? Uh, I can't remember. But yeah, yeah, fantastic stuff. I absolutely love this album to pieces. Features my favorite song of the year thus far. Um, uh, Mas Masquerade, I love that song. I can't get enough of it. No uh, matter how many times I play it, I just can't get sick of it. Uh, and I said, this is on, comes out on Silver Lining Music, um, 2024. Um, but yeah, amazing band if you're into that folky uh, power metal. Um, so after picking this one up, I picked this one up from the uh, website, um, but they weren't selling their debut album on uh, on their website. So I went on Discogs and I found a reasonably cheap copy of their debut album from 2022. Uh, this one's called The Arrival. <coughs> This one isn't a. Is that one a gatefold? Yeah, for some reason I thought that was a gatefold. It's not. I played it so many times and yet I didn't even realise. Um, but yeah, here's a shot of the band looking quite uh, evil. Uh, the vocals do sound a little bit evil at times, I will say. And this came out on a, uh, a red, red vinyl. Um, this album, as amazing as it is, um, it can't, for me personally, it doesn't top uh, the new one. Um, but yeah, some really epic um, songs on these, on this album, um, with some yeah, amazing uh, fist pumping uh, choruses, that sort of like uh, Man of War sort of style uh, chorus, but with, uh, a three, ooh, uh, with three uh, different vocalists, vocalists doing it. Um, the main vocalist is the male clean, uh, but the other two jump on board. But yep, amazing stuff. If you haven't ever heard of a band called Damp, and if you're into your folk metal, certainly not for everybody, as the as the clean male vocals are a little bit um, different. Um, think uh, when it comes to his vocal style, uh, maybe think uh, a little bit of Ramstein. Uh, sound, um, I can't remember the guy's name, I believe vocals of Ramstein right off the top of my head, but yeah, a little bit like his, but um, not sung in German, uh, sung in English, um, so yeah, the band, Damp, um, I don't know if it actually means anything, um, in Swedish, I am not sure, um, but very, very happy uh, that I discovered uh, this band this year. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that and um, maybe turn you on to some bands or maybe you've even turned you off some bands with my uh, terrible descriptions really. Um, but yeah, quite often I know what I want to say in my head um, but it just doesn't come out <laughs> when I open my uh, my big mouth. Um, so yeah, my little update. I um, hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Have a fantastic week ahead. It's Sunday evening over here now. Back to work tomorrow. Not looking forward to it, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, so, yep, yeah, see you guys again very, very soon. Bye for now.